We are all going to live longer and healthier lives than ever before. Population trends like the aging of society, declining birth rates, and the global population of more than 9 billion 25 years from now are going to stretch our resources and create challenges for our health and the welfare systems around the world. But there is hope. We are in a period of great transformation. Leaders of all kinds must work together to blend the vision of tomorrow that inspires our people and provides inclusion for all levels of society. The current mainstream technology using small molecule drugs has hit a wall, while the newer technologies using biotech, nucleic acid, and regenerative medicines are not yet fully matured. With technologies progressing so fast, it is impossible for one institution to cover all the ground. Because of this, we collaborate more with external stakeholders than ever before, and we are embracing new models like open innovation and collaborating with other industries like the ICT and nanotech industries. Innovation for an organization is that X factor that Charles Darwin found in the Galapagos Island. As Darwin's evolution theory suggests, it is not necessarily the strongest that survive, but the most adaptable. For organizations to be successful over the long term, innovation must be part of organization's DNA and culture. And it needs to happen in every market and workplace. With the extreme diversity, as Darwin told us, the best able to adapt will prevail. For those of us in the pharma industry, the thing we care about most every day is improving people's quality of life through our products. As you know, we don't work alone. We are part of a team that includes patients, healthcare professionals, and the providers. As our industry transforms, we share more information collaborate on finding more new treatments, and work more in creative public-private partnerships, sometimes contributing directly to treating diseases and sometimes contributing to health systems strengthening. The Davos Annual Meeting is the most important international forum of the year and inspires action by world leaders for the year to come. In particular, I have fond memories of speaking on a panel with Muhammad Yunus in 2010 as we passionately discussed rethinking values in the post-crisis world. I also clearly remember David Cameron making a prophetic speech at Davos 2011 emphasizing the need to pay down debt and lower government deficit and ensuring that we continue to innovate and establish new businesses and jobs. We cannot forget such a message today. <music>